2017! I wonder if you guys can even hear that. <laughs> Download that specific app just for that one little... Because why the heck not? Uh, b besides that, greetings ladies and gentlemen! It's my intro 4 here and welcome back to some more... D-Logs! Wow, I... I have not come up with a better intro for that in the past couple months. That's not a good sign. Uh, but today... We are concluding 2016. And I figured, what better way to do so than, one, a little bit of Smash, and two, a little bit of reminiscing. Because, you know, despite all the uh, horrible things that have happened between all the celebrity deaths that have gone th out throughout the year, you know, the uh, political election for the newest president, still don't like either candidate, by the by, and, you know, just all the sheer memeiness has been going on throughout 2016, you know, I thought it'd be time to, you know, take things a little seriously. I say that, and again, I start my freaking intro with a with an air horn going off. Uh, I am so immature. Uh, but yeah, in all seriousness, I wanted to take this time to you know reflect on all that's happened, you know, in in my life personally. You know, 2016. You guys don't you know hear that much from me. I hope I haven't uh you know overly expressed myself because you know I try not to be make things too personal. I like to you know keep you guys entertained. And, you know, keep you guys from falling asleep, because my life is completely boring. Let, let's be real here. It really is. And you know that if you actually, uh, knew me. But yeah, gonna spend this video just, you know, reminiscing, you know, talk about the highlights, you know, certain things I enjoyed. Probably nothing too big. You know, I've never been good when it comes to uh, prepping things. Even when I have a script in front of me, you know, that it never uh, works out well, so... With all that said, let's get, uh, started, shall we? Uh, I was actually trying to figure out who I want to, uh... Or, not who I want to. Well, actually, kinda, yeah. I was trying to figure out how I want to do this, uh, CPU fight. And I figured the best way to do this is just, you know... Uh, select a certain NPC to re represent a certain part in the year for me. So, let's see what we got here. Second place... What is the first? I can find... Nope. Why can't, why can't I use freaking stylus for this? This is kind of dumb. Uh, don't start. Here we go. First place. Starting out the year... Pikachu. We got ourselves a Pikachu. Sounds pretty, uh... Straightforward. You know, nothing too... Big. Uh, so yeah, we got a Pikachu. We're gonna start off with Pikachu, because Pikachu is the best, let's be honest. Uh, next up I want to start off with... Actually, no, scratch that. I want to have Shulk first. First and foremost, you, you gotta have Shulk. Then going for Pikachu. Gonna have, uh... Gonna have Robin end things off a bit. And for third place, well, we'll have our iconic Mario, because you cannot have a true reminiscent episode without the King of Nintendo himself. And we'll just, you know, randomize all their uh, attires. Okay. I'm gonna set this for, like, seven... Actually, no, ten minutes-ish. It's a time match. And let's just see where this goes. Like I said, don't have much planned for this episode. Just want to, you know, reminisce a bit. And let's just begin El, uh, el Random. Wait, oh. But yeah, 2016, despite all that is gone on, you know, all the good and the bad, it's not been, you know, actually that bad for me, in all honesty. Because this year has actually been one of the most, you know, fun years of my entire life, ironically enough. Because I've never, you know, been too much to, you know, focus on, like, certain events that happen in here. It's just like, okay, that's the past, now we move forward, that's about it. But there was a lot of noteworthy things here that happened that, you know, really got me you know, excited. Like, uh, the, the beginning of the year was not much, admittedly, you know, at the time, I was working on finishing Xenoblade Chronicles, you know, which, I told you before then, if you were watching the series, and if you haven't, well, I'll tell you now, this is one of my favorite series to do on the channel, you know? Like, I've never been a big fan of, like, trying to complete everything to its, uh, 100%, but for whatever reason, 
playing Xenoblade Chronicles X was a very fun time for me. Like, I actually legitimately enjoyed, you know, doing all the story missions, you know, uh, the main stuff, just the random other things I could do. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that, and all the time that I put into that. It kind of reminded me of when I was doing, uh, uh Lightning Returns, actually, uh, back during my, during the initial Road to Final Fantasy XV, where I put, put so much time into this game, and just to see how well you guys, you know, liked it, like, it meant a lot to me. And I didn't think there'd be anything to top that. That was until Digimon Cyber Sleuth, which, funnily enough, also, came out the same day as my birthday. I was born on February 1st in, uh, the good old 1990s, so, in a way, it's kind of symbolic in a way. Well, I just said Wade's twice in one sentence, that's kind of, uh, redundant. I've redundant this. Anyway, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. I was excited for this game, you know, I'm a big Pokemon fan. When I saw trailers for this, I was like, you know what, I, I'm gonna give this a shot. It's gonna be re released for the PlayStation 4, why not try it out for the channel, see where it goes, and... At first, you know, I was a bit iffy, you know, the whole, uh... I've never, I'm not, like, to be honest, I've never been a big fan of the whole Japanese uh, voice acting. Not to say that they're, they're bad voice actors, mind you, you know, that they're great people, don't get me wrong. But for me personally, to read, you know, English dialogue, and hear just like, you know, Japanese voices, you know, as I'm reading it, it, it jars my my brain, and it, it, help, it makes it harder for me to focus. So I was iffy at first, for that first episode, but then I came up with the, uh, I would call it genius, but, you know, it must be honest, it wasn't really much genius. I decided to turn off the voice acting, and, you know, from there, it was actually pretty fun, you know. I've never been much for voice acting, but, you know, like, creating all the voices for all the characters, you know, myself, you know, obviously default, uh, the kid of Nokia, Nokia in her high voiceness, to Deep Arta, in his very sultry and yet Batman-esque voice, or, you know, whatever I gave him, and just, like, the randomness, like, it's a me, I'm a freaking researcher, and the a villain, like, I thoroughly enjoy doing that, and you guys liked it too, it surprisingly did very well, I was honestly shocked to hear all the great reception, and, you know, as the series went on, you know, a lot of more other things happened. You know, obviously, the beginning of the year, halfway through the year, it's about time to go into the summer break. You know, end the school year off, move on to being a senior, and, you know, that's where things... you think you'd be happy. But, for whatever reason, despite, you know, like what I said before about, like, not focusing too much on the past and going on straight to the future, the end of the school year was very tough for me, in a way. You know, I'm not one for to make, you know, such emotional bonds, in a way. You know, like, to make friends, like, that's one thing. But, like, I'm not one to, you know, get emotionally attached to people. Like, that's never been something that I've always focused on. And yet, somehow, I managed to do that. You know, with just random kids from my English class. They made me feel like a family. And yet, they probably don't, you know... Even remember my name at this point, but like what I'm trying to get out with this little uh, mini tangent here is that you know I, I was thoroughly surprised. You know, I went from the guy who's just like whatever, just let things go on, come on, just speed it up, speed it up, to like I don't want this year to end. Like I actually you know like these guys. I don't want to be you know their friend, like their actual friend, and not just the cynical guy who makes a smart ass retort every every chance I get. And Maybe more on that later, but the point is, you know, that was a very emotional thing for me. So, see the school year go by, you know, and go in the summer, it's a bit heartbreaking for me. And that kind of leads into, you know, the, uh, the summer itself. Now, there were other games I did at the time, you know, Nighttime of Jour, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. Honestly, they were fun, but nothing that stuck out in my opinion. What really stuck out during the year was my transition from, you know, being in the basement for three whole months to, oh hey, I've got a part-time job, I'll be working like 9 to 3 or 9 to 5 or whatever, early in the morning, like getting up, getting ready, and just, you know, get, doing something to get paid. Like, that was quite a change of pace for me. And it really did help with my situation, you know, the uh, emotional ties, because in there, I was able to, you know, uh, do a lot of thinking, you know, 
like while I'm you know facing items, bagging for customers, and doing you know whatever else the manager wants me to do, I have a lot of time to you know, just like ponder, like actually just straight up think. No other focus, just think. Because I don't do that very often, and you know, I got a lot of it on my system, you know, a lot of uh, angry emotions, you know, a lot of sadness. It really helps. Not only just for the sake of giving me a purpose in the summer instead of just being bored, uh, but also, you know, help me get through things. And that's not something I can uh, say very often because, again, not much of the emotional person. But yeah, thank you to my job at Kohler's. Gave me the opportunity that I uh, never thought would actually be very be beneficial. I always thought it'd just be, you know, a regular job, that's it. And, uh, yeah, and another thing. I had originally started this channel, you know, back in 2014 as a means of, you know, not so much being like a famous YouTube star and getting paid for it, but as a summer job. Like, that's originally what I wanted to do during the summer, and yet, like, I still do it for fun. Like, that's my main drive here. So, I'm also kind of glad that YouTube didn't hit off in a way, because without that, I may not have been able to, you know, get through all this. You know, all this would probably build up in my system and be, you know, catastrophic to my psyche. But yeah, so that happened. Next up that happened in the school year was, you know, like obviously the beginning of the senior year, but also during that time, I can't remember when it was actually, it's been, my memory's kind of vague, and it's actually kind of sad because this was very recent, but, uh, you know, got year two, Rage Burst. I was very interested in this game in particular because, you know, months in advance I'd gotten, you know, emails talking about, like, a God Eater anime. It's like, okay, there's an anime based on this one video game, if it's coming out recently, why not I, uh, get it? And sure enough, I did. I played it thoroughly. Not exactly the most, you know, engaging experience gameplay-wise, but the story was so enriching. It, uh, kind of pulled me in. And then, of course, that big, you know, plot twist to myself, where there's actually, you know, more story past the main six chapters. Like, I was not expecting that, and I'm kind of glad that I, uh, I decided to take the time to actually do the after-game stuff, quote-unquote. Uh, but during that time, I was also, you know, going through a lot of things. Mainly, you know, again, like I said, I got all my system, everything out of my system, the emotions, everything painful, that sort of thing. Uh, but I was also kind of, you know, at a bit of a heartbreaking moment because it turns out two of the classes I have, two of my elective classes, had one person from my English class who, you know, meant a lot to me. Or I guess means a lot to me. I don't know how you put it. It's very past, future, however you look at it. But, you know, I was kind of nervous, you know, trying to actually open myself up. Was not able to do that, obviously. I'm still as reclusive as I was. If I weren't, I would have uh, let you guys know in an earlier D-log. Or a later D-log. Again, past, future thing. Very strange. Um... But it was very stressful for me. Like, that was my main focus. Like, okay, how do I open myself up, you know, to the world? Uh, to this person who actually means a lot to me because, you know, she got me through quite a lot. And, you know, skip forward a few months to December, actually, where I actually decided to, you know, get a Christmas present. You know, something, nothing too significant, but, you know, something a little meaningful. Actually, you know, a way of breaking the ice bit. What her response is to it, I have no idea. I have not gone at this point. I'm hoping she opened it at Christmas, and, you know, she'll get back to me once school things begins on Monday, which is actually two days from now. Again, this is going up on New Year's. Going on New Year's, I mean. So I'm hoping for that response. But during that time, of course, the biggest thing of all, Final Fantasy XV game finally came out after two good years. Jeez. Uh, from its initial announcing. And it's been a fun time so far. Oh, and yes, the match is about to begin, uh, or uh, uh, end. I can't believe I actually didn't even mention anything about that. That's actually kind of sad. But, oh, sweet! Robin! Uh, Robin won the match. And fitting, too, because, you know, the, the big twist to the end of the year was Final Fantasy XV came out very excited. And I'm honestly kind of surprised that I've uh, gone as far as I have in the game. You know... I imagine we're very close to the very finale of that series, and it's only been like eight or nine sessions, which is saying something. It's saying something. Uh, we've gone that far. Yeah, there's. I guess that's pretty much it. You know, 
Like, you'd think Final Fantasy XV would be the major thing for me to focus on, but I can't really think of much to talk on, you know? I mean, if, if anything else, I can say I'm glad that it came out, because, you know, it makes a real book end to, to uh, 2016 for me. That, uh, the one game that initially begun my channel, the main thing that, you know, gave me an idea how I want to start out this channel going from, you know, just like Final Fantasy Oriented to just RPGs in general. Like, that stuck out in this entire YouTube channel, and for that, you guys have no idea I'm grateful, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't believe 2016 is gone, but hey, it means there's much, there, it means there's much more to uh, look forward to in 2017. You know, hopefully things will kind of die down with the presidential election. Uh, hopefully, uh, Trump will be a good president. I'm crossing my fingers at that. Hopefully nothing too catastrophic happens. But most of all, I'm hoping that, you know, the rest of my, uh, you know, loose ends from last year are going to finally come to an end. You know, I can clear my conscience, begin a new site, you know, focus on, you know, the future, like I've always said as well as the YouTube channel, which, you know, I still want to do for as long as I can. You know, I don't want to ban this for anything. If I have to, like, if I really, really, really have to, I will. But I never want to end this channel in of itself. Like, that's the main thing I want to get out here. So, yeah, with that cheesy, um, emotional ending sentence, how are you all going to That's going to do it for this special New Year's D-Log, goodbye 2016, you were great in my opinion, you had all your ups and downs like a roller coaster, but now it's time to move forward, 2017 is here, let's pray that nothing too catastrophic happens, and move on. So with all that said and done guys, that's going to do it for this special D-Log, of all well, the D-Log, again, need to come up with a better outro for this, maybe someday. But either way, if you guys have enjoyed this video, of course, as always, make sure to leave a like and, you know, comment down below. Let me know what your uh, favorite moments, least favorite moments, you know, stories of 2016 are. I'd be very interested to read them, you know, maybe comment on them. Like, I'm honestly kind of uh, excited to, he to hear from you guys if you have anything to say. Uh, also, make sure to, you know, uh, share this video with your friends if you feel the need to, you know, you want to give them something... Uh, to be in the, the new year uh, outright. Don't know how to put that best. And of course, if you are new here at channel, you know, this is your first video or one of your first videos, uh, then by all means, make sure you subscribe and, you know, join the Dread Knights as we, you know, save the video game universe one game at a time. Be it Final Fantasy, be it a Tales game, be whatever it is. But hey, until next time, this is Spine for signing out. Have a great your day. Take care. I will see you guys tomorrow with some more videos. And of course, have a merry, merry beginning to 2017. I'll catch you guys next time.